Hello everybody. I am going to show you this Nighthawk combination smoke and carbon monoxide detector. As what the name suggests, this device can detect both smoke and carbon monoxide, both which are dangerous hazards in your home, so that you can escape, escape promptly. You and your family can escape promptly. I got this device seven years ago as a Christmas present, and I never officially hung it up, but I have mounted it actually using push pins on my bulletin board, so it's, you could say it's like a wall mount device. And the unit is pretty simple to operate. All you have to do is put three AA batteries. In the device and then put the cover on now and this is pretty unusual because most smoke detectors seem to use a single 9 volt battery one or two 9 volt batteries but it's much easier I think when you can use double A batteries now the compartment of this device like many smoke detectors has special prongs that make it extremely difficult to replace the cover unless the batteries are inserted in the alarm and this is to discourage people from removing the batteries to quiet false alarms or to use them for other devices like toys and but once the, the batteries hold the prongs down so that you can attach the cover and then mount the alarm now the cover itself goes on the ceiling, but you can easily remove the detector while the cover stays up so that you can replace the batteries if necessary. But this alarm actually has a computerized voice to help warn you of either smoke or carbon monoxide in addition to the regular horn. And you push the button this way to test it and then you can push the button on the bottom to silence the alarm but make sure that no dangerous conditions exist before silencing an alarm and in a little bit I am actually going to test it so that you can hear what it sounds like and the voice here's the diagram that shows you about uh, what either the voice commands the combination of beeps or the flashing of the LEDs indicates and it's important to follow these instructions closely as well now this is an ionization smoke detector so it will detect fast flaming fires more quickly than slow smoldering fires and I've read lately that ionization smoke detectors may not be able to react quick enough for you to escape a house fire that starts from smoldering, which a lot of fires do. Like if they are electrical in nature or are caused by heat sources against combustible furniture. Just to name a few examples. But this type of smoke alarm is also more prone to false triggers, especially in the kitchen from cooking. So this type of smoke alarm should not be used in that area. They say if you want to use a smoke alarm in the kitchen, a photoelectrical detector is more appropriate. Now, this smoke alarm was made on August 1st, 2013. You are supposed to replace smoke alarms every 10 years or whenever they fail. So that means I have two more years left of this device before it has to be replaced. And, but carbon monoxide detectors last for only five years. So that means that the uh, carbon monoxide sensing system must have already failed. Although I could be wrong about that. However, it would let me know if 
that's the case. But I haven't heard any chirps that would indicate that the alarm needs to be replaced. But I am now going... I am now going to test the alarm. Now please turn on your volume because this will be loud. And without further ado, here we go. That indicates uh, a fire hazard. Warning, carbon monoxide. Now this is a carbon monoxide detection. And now the alarm is back in its working state and the green LED will flash every minute or so to indicate that it is working properly. The red LED comes on when an alarm is detected. So with that said, thank you very much for watching. Make sure your smoke alarms are all working properly and be sure to test them at least weekly.